Hi, this is Dr. Ben Morrill. Welcome to episode 33 of Reptile Genetics Weekly. Glad to have you here. Uh, this time you only have me. Uh, unfortunately, Kayla won't be be here with me today. Uh, she has some things going on with her family. I'll let her talk about that later if she wants to. But if you're in contact with Kayla, feel free to reach out, let her know you're thinking of her. Today's a tough day. That happens sometimes. Um, but yeah, she should for sure be back with us next week. Um, so anyway, for updates, we do have a run going right now. It's the biggest run we've ever had. <laughs> we have a lot of stuff on there. Uh, we will be getting back more DGC data. Uh, we'll probably be like another about 100 of those. And then the ones that were reruns for the first batch of 96, uh, we will be able, should be able to get those as well, or most of those. And since I was able to tweak the, the uh, multiplexing for A, B, and C, hopefully we'll get a higher percentage this next time that we'll get all, all three, four. So anyway, get learning and getting better each time, faster, better. That's what we keep trying to do. And uh, more tests as well. So we'll be getting data back, uh, the first few for Puzzle, GCR, Azanthic, which MJ as well, like we talked about last week. Uh, see if MJ is the same indeed. And then uh, TSK, Azanthic, Monarch, Monsoon, all of those we'll have some data for. So we'll have a lot of cool information next week. And uh, we'll have Kayla back to help make it all pretty. <laughs> um, so the we brought up last week in our Thanksgiving episode, we wanted to start having our uh, uh, why I do this segment. And so I do have a why I do this segment for you this time. And so this is our, our first one uh, in an episode. And it's going to be from Gray Family Snakes. So Roger Gray sent in some pictures and said, I do this because running a business with the kids has been so wonderful for us as a family and the kids' development. I can only imagine how the experience might impact their, their lives long-term. Plus, snakes are so cool. Roger Gray. So yes, I completely agree. And uh, as a kid, I remember very, very vividly in grade school, uh, there was... I don't know if it was a, a, a individual or if it was like a, the local zoo. I don't know what it was, but they brought in several live animals and a couple of them were reptiles. And one was a, I'm pretty sure it was a Burmese python. I was so young, but I think it had to have been a Burmese python. And they brought that in. And I uh, definitely remember that very, very well, seeing that for the first time. And another really, you know, very, very, uh, clear memory I have. I probably was like five years old and my parents that were managing some apartments. And I remember seeing a snake in a cage and I'm pretty sure it was a Python. Um, but that was so far back. It could have been something else. I think the guy told me it was a Python and that's why I remember. Um, but I, like I said, I had to have been five and I remember, uh, seeing, this awesome animal in a cage. And I knew this guy would be able to see and interact with that animal anytime he wanted. And I remember having dreams at night for months to years. <laughs> I dreamed that I would be able to keep a snake and my mom kept saying, no, no, no. <laughs> but anyway, you know, having that, uh, that exposure to snakes at such a young age, I think that does stick with kids. Uh, and, uh, that's part of, I, I used to work for the boys and girls club and I would go and do snake presentations for, at the various schools in the, the Valley I grew up in. And, uh, so I was the, the snake guy, the, all the, the teachers that did, uh, boys and girls club. That's, that's what they remembered me at. They don't remember my name, but I told them, I don't mind answering to the snake guy that works. Um, but I think those good, positive interactions when kids are young makes a big difference. And so, yeah, that's, that's awesome. Uh, let's see, get this back. Okay, here we go. This is the part that Kayla usually does. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I got some great pictures, even when the, the kids were young, uh, spending time taking care of them, going to shows. It's awesome. I definitely know I would have loved being able to do that when I was a kid. That's great. And uh, I'll let them chime in in the comments if they want to talk a little bit about this. If I remember right, they got to go do some service actually in Africa where ball pythons are from. 
and uh, the kids got to go and see, you know, where where the ball pythons come from as well and spend some time there. That's awesome. So thanks so much, Roger, for sending that in. And uh, any of you that have uh, more why I do this pictures or videos or stories, uh, please do send them in. So we have the link in episode 32 and maybe Kayla will add it as part of the co the uh, the description for this video as well. But you just send those to Kayla's email address, which is um, our rare genetic social. But anyway, I'll, I'll let her put it there because I can't remember exactly what it is. Uh, but we're looking forward to seeing more pictures and videos and stories and, and love that. Um, the other thing I wanted to touch on is that we are planning, I, I talked about this a little bit in the last episode, but uh, for those of you that are still here and want to want to know exactly what's going on with everything, um, we are still looking good for being able to get turnaround times down quick for some of the tests. Um, so we will have hopefully two or three, maybe more if we get lucky. Uh, by the end of December that we'll have a turnaround time that will be for sure under a week and maybe as fast as like two days. Like once we receive the shed, we'll only have a couple of days and we'll have your results already up in uh, on our vendor site, Morph Market or, uh, or uh, Clutch. So that's coming quick. And uh, also Clutch and Morph Market are working on uh, – on programming so that we'll be able to um, handle uh, discounts and also the way we offer tests. So as we've talked about for a long time, uh, once we get over 20, I, when, I, when I talked about it months ago, I said probably around 20 to 30 tests will make it really complicated to do the panels. So we're definitely in that now. Uh, so it's, it's difficult whenever we get a few more like the Blue Eyed Lucy uh, tests, <clears throat> we have them ready to go, but uh, I we, we can't add them yet as being available because right now the way both Clutch and, and Morph Market are set up, those automatically become part of the panel. And it might take me a while since there's five or six new tests I've got to add. Um, it'll be difficult to get the panel to work uh, really well. So we have several customers over the last couple of months. It's taken that, you know several weeks to be able to get all of their results for their panels because we keep adding more things to it and we'll lose. So I might have, you know, 15 that are working great all together and we add a couple new ones in and it might make a couple of the ones that were working great before not work. So anyway, uh, what we're probably going to do within the next little bit is, is reach a point where um, the panel will be a set. Maybe it'll be 20, somewhere around 20. That will be the panel. And then any new tests. So like if we're able to make Puzzle and TSK and GCR and Monsoon and Monarch, all of those available over the next you know month or two, um, those won't become part of the panel yet. So you'll have that that set panel of 20. And then what we're going to do is is give me we'll we'll say about like every six months, um, at least three months, but maybe up to six months. Um, so what I'll do is during that time, so we'll have this set panel of 20 and over that, that six months, I'll try to add as many as I can uh, in the background that aren't paid samples. We'll keep running the 20 that we know run well and we can get, get those turned around in, in one to two weeks and not have a high percent where we have to redo some of the genes or whatever, like we've been going through. Um, so anyway, we'll have that 20. And then, so like, Puzzle, Monarch, Monsoon, those come online. Um, those you can get as a single or, you know, two gene, or we'll have some other options through our vendors here pretty soon. Um, so you'll be able to do that with those new tests, but they will not be part of the panel. But after that six months, so like maybe in June, I'll add what I can. So that 20 panel for the first six months of 2024, uh, once we get to, to June or somewhere close to that, you know, maybe it becomes a 22 or a 25 gene or something like that. So we'll we'll get them added over time so that we'll make sure by the time it's available to you in the panel that you can expect that one to two week turnaround. It's also difficult for us because and and stressful and sad because for me personally, because I'll do all the work to get that information for my customer. But 
because I've added something new, then there's some missing. And so then they've got to wait, you know, another two or three weeks till the next day to come through. And, you know, maybe something goes wrong there or whatever. So anyway, I don't like that, that the panels are taking as long as they have. And so this is the best way we can think of to make sure that uh, we have that for you. So, so if you're looking for all the genes that you can, we'll, we'll have something available where it'll be 20 that we know work well, or about 20. And that'll be available for a few months. And then uh, over time, like I said, we'll add others in and that panel will get a little bigger. Um, and then, like I said, our vendors are gonna have some other options too, where you'll be able to do more than just one or two. Maybe you'll be able to do three or four um, on a single animal. A lot of customers just wanna know one or two or maybe three uh, per animal, but uh, I think we'll be able to get up four or five and, and uh, We'll, we'll have some cool ways for that our vendors are working hard to to design and, and make it really cool and very convenient and customized for you as the customer. You'll you'll be able to make that choice and do it the way you want to. And so I'm excited for when that goes live uh, for you to be able to have. I think that will be very valuable. So we'll have better choices for tests. Uh, we'll have faster turnaround. And then the ones that, that we do have available with that faster turnaround, uh, we'll also be able to do at a cheaper price. So our prices will come down as well for single gene, two gene, three gene, that, that are these ones where we have the, this new technology working where we can do faster and, and more efficient. So lots of good stuff coming. Um, like I said, uh, sorry we're missing Kayla. Kayla, I hope that today goes as smooth as it can and, and we'll be back next week with Kayla and better better presentation here for you and we'll have a whole bunch of information from this giant run we have going so look forward to seeing you next week